Hello and welcome to all the ghouls and vampires out there. I'm Joe. Time for another quick review. Today's video will be about Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, or I should say Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, from 2003 with John Hanna, I think it is. He's the guy who plays Jonathan from the Mummy movies. Now, I didn't know he was in this movie when I first put it on. And he's really good. Uh, the movie's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it's about a drug addict, as everyone knows, who basically develops this drug that'll bring out his darker side and gives him an alternative personality, one that's violent, cruel, sadistic, and evil. And yeah, you get what you expect from this. Now, I've not read the book, which I really should, and... I will say that I liked it to an extent, but at the same time, some things I wasn't sure about. Naturally, you have the servants jabbering on and on on various scenes, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, you have Jekyll's father and no, not father-in-law, but wannabe father-in-law, because the guy wants to marry his daughter to Jekyll. The two seem close. Um, he tends to help out with connections and helping with financial support. Jekyll, for his part, is foolish and obsessed with his laboratory experiments. And is resolved to basically create evil in other people and believes he can control this evil once unleashed which is about the stupidest thing anyone can think of doing, but uh, he's a scientist, so you kind of expect it. <laughs> I mean, no offense, but seems like, well, science half the time is full of geniuses, the other half full of idiots. You flip your coin. In this case, Jekyll's a typical academic. On the other hand, he's no... Um, Van Helsing. So naturally the experiment goes wrong. Van Helsing would represent the positive side of a scientist archetypally. Jekyll the negative side. He's an idiot. Um, I don't know what else to say to people. This is a pretty good movie but it's probably closer to a 1.2 one and a half star out of four. It's a little below average to be quite honest. It probably could have done with another round of edits. And I would have liked to have seen Hyde a little earlier in the story and at least see what he's up to. Um, but as it is, it seems that mostly he debauched himself at first and then took to murdering. As to Jekyll, he seems to have enjoyed it up until he didn't. And yeah, he comes off as a bit of a druggie in this film, which is pretty funny, I guess, in a dark way. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our Crown of Blood book, which is getting some pretty positive reviews all over the place. So yay! And don't forget to smash that like and that subscribe button. Let's try to aim for 230 subs. And you can check out our sub stack, where we write all sorts of neat articles that are similar to the videos we do here.